This is unprecedented, unheard of. Do you have any other uh, synonyms for for unheard of that start with un? Like undocumented. Some... Undocumented. Well, now it is documented. Three chocolate dippers like all at the same time. What was that? I like cinnamon. Wait, why? What did you I? You like cinnamon. Oh, because synonym. Huh. Wow. Uh, uh. A little late to the punchline there, daddy-o. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> First dad joke of the video. Uh, all right, so dad's doing a coconut, right? Coconut. That's, that's what it looks like, anyway. That's right. According Tough to the box. Guy. Got milk, chocolate, coconut, and mom's doing dark caramels. That I had to cut myself thanks to you. Thanks to me? Oh, because I was in Buffalo? Cut my own caramel. That's wrong. Yeah. It's barbaric. And Brad is the, the chip guy. He does all the chocolate potato chips. And the peon. And the what? I'm the peon. The peon? <laughs> the lowly chip guy. Somebody once said that to him. Oh, what? you must be the peon. <laughs> Aw, thanks. You see the sweetest things. No, he's the chip guy. We only have one chip guy. He's just chipping away at it. Oh, he's the only one. Is that considered a mom joke or a dad joke? I'm gonna have. I've said it before, so it's a mom joke. Sorry. It's a mom joke. Dad, she's making you look bad. She's using mom jokes. Yeah, I'm dorkier than you. Ha ha. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. His dad's My Little Pony cup. It's my favorite cup. Somebody said that dad's a brownie. <laughs> Would you like a brownie with your brownie cup? Yeah. <laughs> Make brownies? Yeah, black bean brownies. They're super good. Mm-hmm. Super. You'd love them. <laughs> I made some black bean brownie ice cream sandwiches one year for... Uh, oh, yeah, those are actually really good. I know they You were. can't even tell that they're not completely horrible for you. They're only a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Your soy ice cream. Yeah. That's not the worst, I guess. Mm. Mm. Oh, here's the caramel cutting station. Mom just left it out. Well, maybe like I'm gonna a barbarian. Cut more Did you oh, think we of had that? to jump on that, didn't you? Yeah, because they always call me out on leaving stuff. So there's my chance to pounce. Ooh. Yeah. Consider me burned. <laughs> this is our high tech cooling device over here. Spill it, Dad. I'm watching Fred Claus. I don't know if I've seen Fred Claus before, but now I have. You can watch it on Christmas Eve when your sister comes home. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Christmas night, or the day after Christmas. And you, you can watch it in the summer, really. It won't be the same. Yeah. I don't really want to watch any Christmas movies in the summer. You don't ever want to watch movies ever. That's true. <laughs> but I'm willing I'm willing to watch this movie as a family of mammals. Yeah. You guys want to tell that story? What I'm talking about? Okay. Because I don't think anyone would get it when you just said a family of mammals. Okay. Well, once upon a time, we would be eating dinner. And we would be all five of us there. Craig would say, say Craig was probably about seven. He would always say, look around and go... We're a family. <laughs> what? I did. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that part. Well, no, that was you. You'd go. We're a family. <laughs> I was like the nicest little kid ever. You really was. And then, and then in like middle school, it all went downhill. And then by high school, it all went back up again. <laughs> so, anyways, we're all sitting around eating dinner, and Craig didn't say his trademark thing. And I go, so Craig, what are we? And he goes, mammals. <laughs> So, I mean, I would guess I mammals. wasn't wrong. No, you were correct. Yeah. You just didn't know where I was going with that. Yeah. <laughs> there could be many answers to that. Yes, Craig used to say some of the sweetest things. Mm -hmm. Like when he was three, I had a headache. I don't know why, but I had a headache. Probably because I had three kids and they were under three. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I laid down for I don't for think it had anything to do with it. <laughs> no. I laid down for a little while. I got up and Craig says... Mommy, are you okay? I was very concerned about you. <laughs> Which concern? That's for a three-year-old. That's a big word. That's a big word and a big mm -hmm. concept. <laughs> and then his grandparents came down from Black Lake and said they were going to take all three kids shopping for a toy. They were going to take them to Toys R Us and buy him a toy. And Craig looked at his grandma. Craig was five and says, Grandma, you don't have to buy anything. I just want to be with you. 
<laughs> Bigger toy for Craig. <laughs> that was my Craig angle. Wins. He gets the big toy. <laughs> Uh, Craig, do you just want cash? <laughs> <laughs> just give me a deposit slip, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> that's enough for your ego. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you guys have anything to bash my ego? Any stories that'll bash my ego now? Can't think of anything, Craig. <laughs> I'll get back to you on okay. that. Uh, Can't bash perfection. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, what about the time I tried to make croutons? Yeah, I don't know if that's an ego thing. It was a little bit... Hmm. I mean, it was pretty dumb. Unintelligent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you were wanting to make croutons. You were 10 or 12, say? Yeah. I don't know why a 12-year-old wants to make croutons, but you did. <laughs> I always like cooking. And homemade croutons are the bomb. Mm -hmm. So I told you to just like shake up the croutons and some butter and some spices. Some bread. I cut some bread. What did I so say? Really shake homemade. Up the you said cut up the croutons yeah. to cut make croutons. <laughs> you just make smaller bread. croutons. That's how you make croutons, right? Shake it up with some butter and some spices. Put it on a cookie sheet and bake it in the oven. I thought Craig knew what a cookie sheet was. <laughs> to Craig, a cookie sheet is the plastic thing that I roll out like pie rubber. crust on. Yeah. <laughs> the, so the plastic, it's like a Tupperware thing. He put that in the oven with the croutons on it and I came upstairs just as he was pulling it out. It was kind of like melting and stuff. And yeah. he figured that that was probably bad. Yeah, like I was, I was thinking about it before I put it in. I was like, "Well, mom and dad wouldn't steer me wrong." Mom said, <laughs> "If she says it'll work, I guess it's gonna work." I trusted you. Must be some cooking voodoo. <laughs> Alas, it did not work. Yeah. So I schooled Craig in what a cookie sheet actually was that day. <laughs> and to this day, he remembers. Yeah. That's my boy. Or, uh, remember when I was little and I came off the bus? And yeah. <laughs> Every day, Craig got off the bus and would turn around to the bus. Oh driver. no, I wasn't talking about that one. I'm I was talking, talking about, about with, that I was one. talking about Mr. Grodeyes. Okay. So we'll, I mean, we can start with the front you were talking. The we'll bus the driver one. one. Yeah. When he was five, you get off the bus and turn around to the bus driver and say, "Bye, Mike. I love you." <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Every day. I remember, like when we got bunk beds, I was like, "Mike, we got bunk beds." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh wow, awesome. Gro cool." <laughs> I wish I had bunk beds. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, the other one that I was thinking of. Okay, Craig came home from school very down and depressed, which did not happen. He told me his teacher said he was dumb. Now that night was um, open house, and we were going to be going and seeing his teacher that night. I was pretty sure that his teacher did not tell him he was dumb. Apparently they're playing a circle game, and Craig was kind of cutting up a little bit, and she said, Craig is done. I mean, I told him that's probably what happened, but he was having none of it. He thought that she said, Craig is dumb, so hey, I can you do the Can you do the impression of me? Um, no. Because like, you would always, whenever you tell a story, you always go, My teacher said I'm dumb! <laughs> okay. That's about what you did. My teacher said <laughs> I'm dumb. My teacher dumb. said I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and I had met your teacher many times, and I really didn't feel like she would say that to you. Not to your face, anyway. Not to my, when I turn around, she tells all the other students, ah, Craig's such Craig a is dumb. dummy, isn't he? <laughs> Look at that dummy. When I called her, oh, she felt terrible. <laughs> she felt awful. So, uh, she set you straight. We went to open house that night. She just said, Craig is done. She just, she's got to learn, I think, to pronounce her ends better. Yeah, that's what she learned. She learned to enunciate. Yeah. There was another time I told that same teacher, and we were going to like a field trip to the the firehouse. I might have been like right when I after you had like, your hernia. Yeah, operation? it was like it was a couple like a week maybe or a couple days you after I got my hernia operation. I just yeah. got back. We went for a walk down to the the uh, firehouse fire station thing for a tour, and uh, I, I just told our teacher, I was like, Mr. Grodives, I'm tired. You're gonna have to carry me. <laughs> well, you were. In you were in pain. Yeah. Because I had carried you around. Like, I put you in the car. Oh, yeah, I wasn't supposed surgery. to walk for like a week, right? Y you were just in pain. Yeah. I would carry you. Yeah. I mean, maybe I coddled you a little too much. I don't know. I, I mean, I had to carry you in a couple of years. Uh, <laughs> you told her you're going to have to carry me. I'm tired. You're going to have to carry me. She flagged down a cop and said, Could you take this boy? Oh, yeah, I school? remember that. Yeah. That was my first ride in a cop car. Was it Back your to the high school. Ride? Well, actually, there was uh, two other times I rode in a cop car. Two times. Uh, I, I guess Should I never told you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can turn the camera on yourself now. <laughs> um, all right. So. Police confessions. Yeah. Uh, the 
the next time that I rode in a cop car was when I was in college and I was waiting for the bus and apparently I was waiting at the wrong stop but there was a cop car just like he was just like waiting um, just sitting around waiting for him to get called for the bus some party or something and I was just standing there waiting and he was sitting there so I was just I was like you know what? I'm gonna start talking to him so I was like do you like your job? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, what do, you, what do you like about it? He's like, well, I always wanted to be a cop when I was little, and I guess I never grew up, and like we just like started talking. And um, then I figured out that I was at the wrong bus stop, and he's like, you know what? I'll just take you home. So then I got a ride home in a cop car. And you didn't have to tell your parents? Yeah. <laughs> and then the next time was, I think it was this past summer, early in the summer. Yeah. And then I, I was running as on our home cross country course um, from high school just wanted to go back on a nostalgia run and uh, I rolled my ankle and it wasn't really like that bad but I had to work like six hours six seven hours later that day so I was kind of babying it back so I was basically crawling back to the car because I didn't want my ankle to get really bad for work so I was crawling back and then somebody uh, drove by and, and there's just a cop like nearby they just kind of like flagged them down and then they came over like are you okay I was like yeah I just rolled my ankle <laughs> so uh, then he gave me a ride back to my car which so nice. yeah, which was I think it was only like two or three hundred meters away, so it wasn't like wasn't a really far ride. But that that's why yeah, yeah money. that that's why I was like you know I can just crawl back to my car so I don't <laughs> so I don't yeah. make my ankle any worse. <laughs> so uh, yeah, those are all the times I rode in a cop car. Do you guys do you guys want to tell us any stories I've when you rode in a cop, cop car? car? Oh yeah. Never. 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 Whoa yeah, that sounds really convincing. That's me, really convincing. What about you, Brad? Cop car? No. Paddy wagon? Paddy wagon? <laughs> Trooper? Maybe. <laughs> no, I got nothing. Got nothing? I was a good kid. Yeah. But your dad. Woo! Woo! Dad? Yeah, I was a rebel. Yeah. You Still know. are. <laughs> now you guys. Throw got... away pennies and. <gasps> dad! Ride the escalator, let go. No way. It happened. He run. used to try to run up run and down. Up and <laughs> Cutting tags off mattresses like you wouldn't believe. Whoa! Uh, almost got arrested. Uh, how'd you get out of the mattress one? I never told anyone. You knew a guy. <laughs> yeah, I know a guy. I know people. <laughs> In low places. Is that from The Godfather? Mattress? Take it to the mattresses. <laughs> well. I think that's all we got. Yeah, I guess that's it. That's it for uh, can candy story time. It's time for our afternoon nap. We're old. <laughs>